Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Storm Track Meteorologist Nate Harrington. I want to give you an update. It is a weather aware day. We've seen uh, very few areas of showers and thunderstorms so far this afternoon. I'm recording this at 1:48 on Monday. So let's show you what we've got outside right now on Storm Track. Tower cam out over Birmingham. It looks very clean. The atmosphere looks very clean. Uh, we, Mark Prater and I were talking about this earlier. Normally when you've got so much visibility, there's not a whole lot of moisture in the air. And you can see there's some. We've got clouds around, but uh, just not the big towering cumulus clouds and the big storms that uh, we were expecting at this time so far. There are some areas with some storms, though. Let's check those out. We do have storms in the southeastern corner of our viewing area. Uh, folks in Clay County and northern Tallapoosa County, you're seeing the storms now. And uh, not a whole lot of really bad storms. It's just some heavier pockets of rain. And then uh, the northern part of Tallapoosa County, just north of New Site, uh, you're seeing the, uh, the thunderstorm activity. But we are watching an area of showers and thunderstorms that's uh, to the west of us, west of the Alabama-Mississippi state line. These storms are moving generally to the north and to the east. Uh, watch the uh, direction of motion when I can get the, the, uh, the camera ready to go here. Watch the direction of motion. These have just popped up here in the last hour or so, and they're moving to the north and west. And if we kind of extrapolate that, uh, we're expecting these storms to basically move this way. So they could be clipping our western viewing area. Folks in Pickens, Lamar, Fayette, Walker, Marion, Winston, counties, maybe even Tuscaloosa County. You could see some of these storms later this afternoon, uh, but I think that might be it as far as the development of storms. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot just pop up randomly. It's going to take some of the outflow boundaries and some of the other boundaries from some of these storms to produce uh, the weather that we are expecting today. We'll see if that happens. We still have several more hours to go this afternoon, prime heating and prime uh, thunderstorm times uh, for us here in central Alabama. And of course, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, make sure to read the scroll at the bottom of the screen on CBS 42. We'll have any updates for you then. And also, we'll do some Facebook Lives throughout the afternoon if the thunderstorms start to threaten uh, central Alabama in a big, big way. So we'll have uh, more on that as well. Stay tuned on WIT.com and the Storm Track Weather app for more weather updates. And we'll see you later, guys.